All right, so I'm replacing this LiftMaster half horsepower 3255M model garage door opener. This thing's almost 13 years old, and these things get, what, maybe 15 years if you're lucky and if you take care of it. Bought this house a little over two years ago, so um, who knows how well this thing was maintained, if it was at all. But I'm going to be showing you the disassembly on this thing. I have it almost ready to go, and as far as the tools that, that I'm using, this is it. Half inch open end, uh, half inch socket, ratcheting wrench, and then the adjustable, and then just a small flathead to remove uh, and disengage those wires up there. So um, let me show you the first step I did. Now, what you want to do first, now you can use different wrenches. I prefer to use the open end right here um, only because, I mean, I've already adjusted this. So this is the chain tensioner and it was actually sticking out to about right here. So there's not a lot of clearance between here and here. So this is why I found the open end worked best on this, just to loosen this bolt or this, this nut right here. And I'm not taking it all the way out. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. And then up top, so you gotta loosen that chain and then you take the chain right off the sprocket right here. So you just pull it right off, okay? Now, one thing I learned, one quick tip that's important, you don't wanna have to take this whole rail off, right? Because if you, if you just take this off, this is how it's mounted. You got uh, two bolts here and here. That is essentially mounted here so you don't want to have to you know take this whole thing down or if you don't want to save yourself some some hassle and use a bungee cord and just hook it underneath and hook it to the uh the frame rail so that way it holds this thing up while you can take this this off without having to worry about messing with this thing so huge uh time saver and then what i did i loosened as far as i can with the open end wrench right here, and then on here as well. You can use a socket, I, I don't remember which one I used, but whatever is easiest for you. So those two bolts to attach it to the frame rail, and then these two bolts attach it directly to this arm right here. So that's that, okay? And then after I loosened the chain, I took the chain off, put the bungee cord on. Obviously you wanna make sure it's unplugged, right? You don't wanna be messing with stuff when stuff is still plugged in. So. Um, make sure you take care of that. And then over here, you want to disassemble or disengage these wires. So you just, you know, depress all these up in here. And one thing to keep in mind, you want to understand, you know, where these wires are actually being uh, sent to. So I already took a picture of it. Taking pictures of stuff is always awesome. You want to just kind of follow along where they go. These two wires go in the right two spots here. And these are actually to the sensors on the, on the ground. All right, so these two right here on that left two spots go directly to the panel right there that's hanging down that I already took apart. So you see as it, as it is, what they did is they ran the wire up and mounted it through, drilled a hole through the attic, come all the way up here and there you go. So. You just want to see exactly where they go, follow the wires. This, this obviously goes to the sensors and this goes to the panel. So I have that basically ready to go. Um, now I got everything down loosened by hand. So once I loosen these up or take these off right here and here, this, this whole unit's going to come off. So while that comes off also this rail is going to stay put. It's not going to go anywhere. So, Keep that in mind for your disassembly and, you know, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.